Again, in example three, I have this form, ax squared plus bx plus c, that general form. Here we have negative signs, which we will take into account. So my a equals three, b equals negative six, and c equals negative four. And I always check before I do any of these steps, I check to make sure that I did not have a greatest common factor. I do not have one with the numbers. I don't have a factor I can factor out from variables. So I'm just going to go on and write this in the form ax squared plus mx plus nx plus c. Recalling that m plus n equals b. So in this case, the sum of these two is negative 6. The product of m and n is the product of a and c. Here, the product of a and c is 3 times negative 4 to give me negative 12. OK. So both b are less than 0 and c are less than 0. When c is less than 0, m and n have opposite signs. Whether b is positive or b is negative, if c is less than 0, then you've got a product here that's going to be less than 0, and they're going to have opposite signs. m times n gives me negative 12, so they have to have opposite signs. OK, so I need to find the factors of negative 12. And I want to figure out their sum, and I'm looking for a sum that is going to equal negative 6. If I find these, if I meet these two conditions, I found m and n. And I remember that m and n have opposite signs. So I have 1, negative 12, and that's going to give me negative 11. I could try it the other way. That would give me 11. Okay. That didn't work. So I'm going to try 2, negative 2, and 6. That's going to give me 4. I could try 2 and negative 6. That's not getting me anywhere. So I'll try another combination. 4 and negative 3. It's going to give me 1. How about negative 4 and 3? Well, that's negative 1. So I've tried my combinations. I've tried all my permutations that will give me, the product will give me negative 12, and I don't have anything that also has a sum of negative 6. What this tells me is that this is not factorable. I cannot factor this, so what I have here is a prime polynomial. Usually the problems you see are factorable, so you want to be really careful that you haven't made an error before you go ahead and say not factorable. Check through your work first, but sometimes you will find a situation where you cannot factor the polynomial any farther. All right, in example four, we have an equation.